The Orvis Guide to Fly Fishing premieres on WFN Tuesday, March 31st. Here's a sneak peek. Pre-spawn usually happens between 48 and 55 degrees. As lake or river waters warm up, both smallmouth and largemouth bass begin to move from their deep winter haunts to search for food in preparation for spawning. In this animation, you can see how bass travel from deep water to shallow water areas to hunt for prey. The type of structure they go to will vary depending on the water types and prey availability. They're usually quite aggressive, depending on water temperature, and will spread out in small hunting packs, constantly moving and searching for prey. This corresponds with the emergence of crayfish from hibernation, which is why crayfish patterns are so effective in spring. Baitfish are also moving into the shallows in search of warmer water. Bass are trying to get nourishment in preparation for spawning, so they feed eagerly. On sunny days, when the shallow water warms quickly, bass will be found in the shallows hunting for crayfish and baitfish. Look for them in areas of down timber, rocky shorelines, and around rocky islands. Now, I've never done any smallmouth fishing this early on purpose anyways, but we're here to try to see if we can catch some of these pre-spawn smallmouths. Here we are in Maine in May before spawning season. We looked for smallmouth in the shallows on this river and we found this nice one. There's one way back in the shallow water. But low and slow is sure the, is sure the secret here with these early season smallmouths. By using plenty of pauses in our strips, we allowed the fly to settle on the bottom and then dart upward, which keeps the fly moving slower and keeps it closer to the bottom where bass are found at this time of year. Thank you, buddy. Let's see if there's another one back in there. Oh, there's another one. These fish are, are just in the just in the current, but right in the slower part of the current. Catch the longer version April 5th on YouTube.